still we continue from the the book of Daniel and we have a very beautiful story in, incorporated of course in the in the story of Daniel and he was now he passed on out to the Medes from Nebuchadnezzar and his sons to the Medes by Darius King Darius and King Darius is a really good friend of the prophet. He is owed by the holiness of this prophet. And how this prophet would pray so much to the living God. And the envious prophets of the court, because they felt that all the attention of the king was upon Daniel. And so they concocted a, a law, a decree signed by the king that for 30 days nobody should pray to any other gods except to the king because for them the king is God. And yet Daniel, true friend of God, would rise up early in the morning and three times a day would lift his eyes towards heaven. And so he was accused by these envious people. And he was being bounded together and hurled into the den of lions. The king could not sleep the whole night thinking about Daniel. And so early in the morning, a very beautiful story, early in the morning, the one who judged Daniel hoping against hope that Daniel is still alive, went to the den, opened the hole and cried, Daniel, Daniel, has your God saved you? Very beautiful. And Daniel said, yes, O king, God has closed the mouths of the lions that they would not hurt me. And he was taken out of the den and the envious people together with their families, were thrown into the lion's den. God saved his people. And God saved Daniel, because Daniel is still a great mission. And not only that, because he trusted in the Lord. At the beginning of this pandemic, you know, many preachers would say, if God has, has saved Daniel from the lion's den, then he can surely save his people, all of us from this pandemic. Well, there is a great, a great uh, difference between us and Daniel, my dear brothers and sisters. Daniel, in his holiness, abandoned himself to God. Daniel knew and trusted God. But what about us? Sometimes we trust ourselves more, our talents more, our wealth more, our power more than we trust God. Sometimes we say we love God, and yet after that we turn our backs from Him. Sometimes we say we worship God, and yet how much we compromise our our fidelity to God through the fleeting moments of joy, of wealth, or any other thing that we exchange for God. Surely God can save us from this pandemic. But at least we have that holiness of, of Daniel so that we can trust God really that he will surely be our savior. As Jesus said, said in the gospel, when the time will come, stand erect and look up to heaven. See your salvation is coming. It is really of, of great faith that one can look at the heaven when all around you is not going well. How many times in our life with so many problems, big problems, and we cannot focus ourselves on God. We are, we are panicking and we cannot trust him. 
We even question Him. So then again, my dear brothers and sisters, in this uh, reading today, the liturgy is reminding us that like Daniel, we trust the Lord totally. Like Daniel, we remain faithful to Him. And following the Lord in the gospel, then we can surely stand the wreck when all these times and tribulations will come our way. Whatever problems, whatever uh, circumstances we face, we will never be perturbed because God is with us and we trust Him to save us. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen.